You work hard. You want to say that you play hard too, but you don't always have the energy to do the fun things you planned when they sounded like a good idea. I see so many posts making jokes out of being too tired to have a life outside of work. I've been there myself, and now I help my clients not be too tired to do the things that bring them joy. If you make plans to hang out and then cancel them the day of because you just don't have the energy to do them, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Lisa. As a spiritual medium and energy strategist, I help my clients create daily self-care practices to recharge their energy. This isn't about putting more things on your plate. It's about giving you the energy to do the things you have to do and then extra. Think about the self-care you give yourself versus others. I see you making everyone around you a priority but yourself. Daily habits are the key to living a life you love every single day and one of the most important daily habits is self-care. So really, what is self-care? Self-care is something that helps you recharge your energy. If you think about your energy like you do the energy on your cell phone, work drains you, some of you more than 100%, then you have family and friends, this energy usage varies depending on the situation, and you may even give energy to a stranger that upset or angered you, or to traffic. Self-care is like giving yourself oxygen on an airplane before you can help anyone else. Why do you need self-care? You can't plow through the day without recharging. Just like you can't streamline videos on your cell, do video calls, play games without charging, and then have enough battery to get through the rest of the day. Unless you have a new phone, right? New phones can do more longer. But you're not a phone. You're not a machine. You're a human with a body trying to keep up with Superwoman. Stop. Overwhelm, exhaustion, and burnout are not and have never been badges of honor. They are signs that something has to change and fast. Your body always gives you the messages you need to operate in the best way for you. Self-care equals recharging. Here are some ideas for you to try to recharge your energy that I share with my clients. Self-care can be free or you can do things that are expensive. It's up to you what you do, but do something every day. Your body will thank you. So your community, surround yourself with people that support and nurture you. Make time in your schedule for the people that help you recharge. You may need to do some time management to free up your schedule so you have the energy to go and not cancel. Pamper yourself. Enjoy activities that relax as well as re-energize your body. A hot shower, a cold plunge, sauna, water, infrared. Enjoy your morning beverage instead of gulping it down. Create a bedtime routine that helps you relax each day and actually take a lunch break. Here's some things that you can do to align your energy. Do many meditations throughout the day. It can be about two minutes or less. You can do this outside as you're walking, sitting on a beach, in nature, or even while you're relaxing in the bathtub or shower. Take time to be and let your energy catch up to all you've been doing in your body. Balance your body. Exercise is very important in caring for your body. The key to exercise is to do things you enjoy, to focus on the results it's creating for your body and to do it at the right time of the day for you. Some people get up early, some people exercise after work. Pick ways to exercise that you're actually going to do, not what you should do. Besides supporting your body, exercise is a great way to naturally let go of stress, worries, and things you're carrying from the day. It's really a double win. Nourish your body. What food would support you the most right now? Put white light into your food when you prepare it and when you eat it. Thank the food you're eating for nourishing your body. If you're eating a shake, fries, and a burger, do not think about how bad this is for you. That's energy that you're putting into your body as you eat, and it's not helpful. Instead, say what you appreciate about the food and why you're eating it. There are so many food trends like where eggs are bad and now they're good. Focus on eating foods that your body feels good while you're eating it and after. 
What's good for you isn't going to be the same for someone else. What self-care practices are you going to start this week? If you like this video, let me know by liking it, and I invite you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video released. For next videos to watch, I recommend Raise Your Vibration, 5-Minute Meditation to Start Your Workday, and 8 Easy Time Hacks to Have More Energy. Taking care of you is essential. If you do not take care of yourself, who will? Seriously.